Diabetes is a serious disease and comes in two forms, types one and two, uh, and even a third form, gestational diabetes that occurs only during pregnancy. Um, currently, there's an epidemic of both type two and type one diabetes. Uh, type two is probably eight times more common than type one, eight to 10 times more common, and it affects a lot of people, uh, something on the order of 8% of the population in Michigan and in the US. Type 2 is the one that is linked uh, particularly to overweight uh, and the obesity problem as it expands, expands the type 2 diabetes problem. Type 1 comes in a few different flavors, but the primary flavor is an autoimmune process uh, that affects uh, people generally under age 20 or 25, but in fact, new onset type 1 diabetes can appear even uncommonly throughout life, even in the older generation. Uh, the complications of diabetes are very significant. Accelerated cardiovascular disease, meaning heart attack, stroke, protecting the kidneys. Um, kidneys are very, very much affected adversely by diabetes. Diabetic eye disease, which is probably the leading cause of blindness in the United States. Uh, and uh, susceptibility of the feet, particularly to foot ulceration, poor blood flow to the feet, decreased sensation in the feet and hands particularly, uh, and uh, overall uh, debilitation and susceptibility to a number of illnesses that uh, are uh, impacted negatively by having a high blood sugar. The biggest impact, I think, will be in the form of discovery. Uh, there are multiple different cutting-edge advances that are happening in diabetes research right now. There are issues which will be concentrated on the sixth floor of the building uh, in which brain regulation of body metabolism, brain regulation of appetite uh, are hugely important to the development of the diabetes problem. And there are researchers here in the Brem Center who are focused on the chemistry of the brain and how it affects multiple body processes. On the fifth floor of the building, I think real discoveries are going to be made in how pancreatic islets that house the beta cells that make insulin come into existence and how the pancreas of an adult person can be reprogrammed to allow the production of more beta cells, which would allow the production of more insulin to control blood glucose. We have scientists in the building who are working on the communication between beta cells and how they secrete the insulin hormone into the bloodstream. We have scientists who are making cutting edge discoveries about how to identify a person who is going to get type 1 diabetes and doesn't have it yet. And we have scientists who are working on what kills beta cells during diabetes and how to prevent that death. So my thinking is that over the next 10 or 20 years, major discoveries are gonna come from the work that's done within this center.